Before we dive into our weather here across southwest Florida, let's talk about the first to name storm of the season. Tropical Storm Alberto, a weak tropical storm that one is actually producing wet weather, the potential for flooding rainfall some 500 miles away from the center of circulation. So from Houston to Brownsville, flooding rain will be a concern four to eight inches, but also coastal flooding. Let's take a live look right now from our sister station KTRK there. This is a live look at the Galveston Bay. So this location expecting anywhere from four to eight inches of rain, but also you can see those big swells there. Two to four feet of storm surge will be a possibility. And again, this is just a friendly reminder that even a tropical storm with sustained winds of 40 miles per hour is producing storm surge coastal flooding of two to four feet some 500 miles away from the storm's center. Here's a different perspective right now from the coastline of Texas as they continue to gear up for that heavy rainfall because of Alberto. Now, landfall itself is expected to be in Mexico as we look ahead to tomorrow. So obviously, as it kind of dissipates over the mountainous terrain of Mexico, going to be a big flood producer there. But otherwise, for our friends along the Gulf Coast of Texas, we'll be keeping a close eye on things. And then also the same location, the Bay of Campeche, could see another area of development later this weekend. We'll be watching that closely. No concern of ours, but for us, we'll actually be watching an area of circulation or an area of low pressure, fairly broad in nature, several hundred miles to the east of the Bahamas. As this works its way off toward the west northwest here over the weekend, we're going to be seeing a bit more moisture surging our direction. So this right here, kicking more moisture our way here in the southwest Florida, it's going to help to trigger more showers and storms. Speaking of showers and storms, this is what we're up against right now. As we look live from our France Icare Tower camera situated in Estero, and this is a storm that is heading right here, heading toward Miramar Lakes, toward RSW, as well as our France Icare Tower camera right along I-75. We will be dealing with some of these isolated to scattered downpours, not just for the rest of this evening, but heading into tomorrow and Friday as well. And then Saturday into Sunday and Monday, that's when some of that tropical moisture coming in from the Atlantic will be ramping up our rain chances more so. But for now, Take a look at this. This is that thunderstorm we were just looking at live there from our France Eye Tower, Eye Tower camera right along I-75. Heading now along State Route 82. It is indeed showing signs of weakening. Still, though, producing some lightning strikes as it works its way toward Miramar Lakes and is heading toward Estero. Parts of Gateway also expected to be clipped. RSW's right here. So inevitably, RSW is about to be seeing some very heavy rainfall in a short amount of time. For Whitten Corner and Moorhaven farther inland, this little shower continuing to dissipate. No longer seeing any lightning strikes out of that either. So next couple of hours will continue to feature these isolated downpours. After sunset, though, things really calm down. So overnight should be pretty quiet, expecting mostly clear skies. Tomorrow morning, best chance for an isolated inland shower staying inland. Then heading into the afternoon, we will see these scattered downpours once again develop. So similar to today, just be prepared to pivot in case one of those storms heads your direction. Otherwise, it's going to stay breezy. Gust again expected around 25 miles per hour. High temperatures climbing to 93, but feeling about 10 degrees hotter because of that humidity. That'll be the case again on Friday, then over the the weekend heading into early next week. Rain chances going up with that tropical moisture.